Hello, welcome to Skill Moment Sports. In the world of football, a lot of hype is naturally given to the young players who turn out to be teenage prodigies, capable of making a massive impact on the game at the earliest points in their careers. From Ronaldo and Mike and Owen to Erling Brad Haaland and Jadon Sancho, the history of the game is filled with the stories of these tyros. However, it sometimes takes a little longer for a player to make a big impact. A handful of great players in the game's history only rose to fame in what would usually be the latter stage of their careers, their mid to late 20s or in some cases even their 30s. These players surprised everyone with their success and some continue to do so today. Here are five of football's greatest late bloomers. Number one, Jamie Vardy. The majority of football fans probably know the Jamie Vardy story by now, but it's once so remarkable that it's always worth telling again. The Leicester striker was born in 1987, and although he had played for Sheffield Wednesday as a youngster, he'd been released by the Owls and joined non-league side Stocksbridge Park Steels by the time he was 16. It wasn't until he was 23 years old that he first signed for a professional club in the form of Halifax Town. By his 25th birthday in 2012, he was still playing non-league football for Fleetwood Town. It was in the summer of 2012 that he first moved to Leicester, who were then an EFL championship side. After two seasons in England's second tire, he finally found himself in the Premier League at the age of 27. From there on, the rest is history. Somehow retaining his incredible pace through his late 20s and into his early 30s, Vardy has proved to be a revelation in the top flight. After brief flashes of its talents in 2014 to 2015, he exploded into everyone's conscience in 2015 to 2016, leading Leicester to an unlikely Premier League title victory with 24 goals. Since then, Vardy has proven that he is definitely not a one-season wonder and has continued to score goals regularly both for Leicester and for England until his retirement from international football. Vardy is even leading the race for this season's golden boot and the striker is the very definition of a late bloomer. Number 2. Lusa Tony. Italian players sometimes tend to peak at a latter point in their careers than players from other countries and Lusa Toni is definitely a fine example of that. The striker floated around in Italy's lower leagues throughout his teens and early 20s. After a pair of middling seasons in Serie A with Brescia, he moved back to Serie B with Palermo at the age of 26. Suddenly, his career took off and he scored their 30 goals in Serie B to help Palermo to promotion and proving that he could compete at the top level, Tony then scored another 20 goals for Ayel Rosanero in Serie A, helping them to an impressive 6th place finish. That was enough to earn him a big money move to Florentina. And at the age of 28, he scored an incredible 31 Serie A goals in the 2005 to 2006 season, becoming the first player to break the 30 goal mark in the competition for 50 years. That summer saw him score two goals in the 2006 World Cup as Italy won the tournament. And a year later, he made a big move to German giants Bayern Munich. After scoring 24 goals in his debut season, injuries took their toll, and as he moved into his early 30s, it finally seemed like the Italian was slowing down. But after signing with Verona in 2013, he then returned back the clock in the next two seasons. Notably, he scored 22 goals in 2014 to 2015 to end the campaign as Serie A's top scorer at the grand old age of 38. Number 3. Danny Blythe One of the most fondly remembered central defenders of the last 30 years, 
Danny Blind saw success with both Sparta, Rotterdam, and Ajax, but it wasn't until his later years that he truly hit his peak. Somehow, despite making his professional debut in the 1970s, all but two of the 16 trophies he won during his career came in the 1990s. The Dutchman started his career at Sparta in the 1979-80 season as a right back, making 13 appearances in the Eredivisie. He spent a further six reasons, seasons in Rotterdam largely and ever-present for D. Castelheron before moving to Ajax in the summer of 1986. Despite his signing being criticized by star striker Marco van Basten, Blind quickly proved the doubters wrong. Converting into a classy center back capable of passing and shooting as well as any attacker, Blind established himself as a key man at Ajax and won his first Eredivisie title in the 1989-1990 season. Better was yet to come, though. Under manager Louis van Gaal and with Blind as captain, Ajax transformed themselves into a European powerhouse in the early to mid-1990s. Blind won a further four Eredivisie titles, the final one coming in the 1997-98 season as he turned 36 years old and even lifted the Champions League in the 1994-95 campaign just months before his 34th birthday. The defender finally retired at the end of 1998-99 at the age of 37 after amassing just under 500 appearances for Ajax where he remains a club legend to this day. Number 4. Josip Ilicic Slovenian attacking midfielder Josip Ilicic has been one of the success stories of the 2019-2020 season. Starring for the surprise package of the Champions League, CBA side Atlanta, Ilicic has scored a total of 21 goals in just 29 matches in the current campaign the best goal return of his career. The big surprise here is that the Slovenian turned 32 in January. Ilicic has been around in Serie A for a long time now after signing with Palermo in the summer of 2010 as a 22-year-old. Despite spending three seasons at the club and then a further four at Fiorentina, the truth is that the Slovenian never truly stood out until recently with 13 league goals in 2015-2016, being his biggest impact since arriving at Atlanta, though moving in the summer of 2017 for a low fee of just 5.5 million pounds. He's hit his stride and become one of Italy's standout performers. His debut season at La Dea saw him score 11 goals and red register at 8 assists. But 2018-2019 was even better for him. That campaign saw him score 12 and make 7 assists at Atlanta. Surprised everyone by finishing 3rd, qualifying for the Champions League for the first time. And of course, the Slovenian has been a revelation in the current campaign. 5 of his 21 goals have come in the Champions League proving he can perform at the highest level and his display in Atlanta's 3-4 win over Valencia stands out as one of the season's best. Judging by his current form, Ilicic could easily continue to star for Atlanta into his mid-30s. Number 5. Miroslav Klose it still comes as somewhat of a surprise to learn that German forward Miroslav Klose, rather than someone like Ronaldo, Pele, or Diego Maradona, holds the record for the most goals scored at World Cup tournaments. It should probably come as even more of a surprise that the striker didn't make his Germany debut until he was 24, which is strange considering that he scored his final goals for Germany at the age of 36 at the 2014 tournament. Klose's professional career began at Kleiserstalen in 1998, and at 20 he was already older than many breakthrough stars. Across the five seasons that followed, he was a reliable if not prolific source of goals, 
He scored a total of 44 goals in the Bundesliga before moving to Werden Bremen. There, his career continued on the same trajectory 2005 to 2006, being his best season as he scored 31 goals at the age of 27. But as he turned 29, he got the biggest move of his career, a transfer to Bavarian giant Bayern Munich, where he spent four seasons winning two Bundesliga titles. Despite turning 33 at the end of the 2010 to 2011 season, his career didn't peter out when he moved from Bayern to Lazio. Instead, he continued to be a reliable source of goals until his retirement at the age of 38 in 2016 and lifted the 2014 World Cup in the process. It's safe to say that Klose definitely peaked during the latter part of his career. Thanks for watching for more video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.